Haile Selassie, born Leech Tafari Makonnen, is one of the most influential and revered figures in Ethiopian history. He ruled as Emperor of Ethiopia from 1930 until his overthrow in 1974, leaving an indelible mark on the nation and the African continent. Beyond his imperial role, Selassie was a visionary leader, a staunch advocate for African independence, and a symbol of resistance against colonialism. Haile Selassie was born on July 23, 1892, in the village of Ejersagoro in Ethiopia. He was a member of the Solomonic dynasty, which claimed descent from the biblical King Solomon and the Queen of Sheba. His noble ancestral roots on both his mother and father's side would enable him to eventually ascend the throne of Ethiopia. Selassie displayed remarkable intelligence and leadership skills from a young age. He received a traditional education, learning about Ethiopian history, religion, and culture. His political career began to flourish when he served as governor of Harar province, where he gained recognition for his administrative skills. He was only 14 years old at the time of the appointment. Selassie ascended to the role of regent and crown prince after Empress Zudi II ascended the throne of Ethiopia in 1917. He worked with the Empress performing the administrative duties of the crown. After the death of the Empress in 1930, he was crowned Emperor Haile Selassie I, becoming the 225th monarch in the Solomonic dynasty. Emperor Haile Selassie embarked on an ambitious mission to modernize Ethiopia and improve the lives of its people. He initiated numerous infrastructure projects, including the construction of schools, hospitals, roads, and bridges. Selassie also introduced modern agricultural practices and encouraged industrial development to boost the nation's economy. One of his most significant achievements was the abolition of slavery in Ethiopia. Slavery had persisted in some regions despite its official ban by previous rulers. Selassie championed human rights, and under his leadership, the country underwent extensive legal reforms, laying the foundation for a more equitable society. During his reign, Haile Selassie became an iconic figure in the fight against colonialism and a staunch advocate for African independence. Under the leadership of Benito Mussolini, Italy invaded Ethiopia in 1935, hoping to create an Italian empire. Haile Selassie faced an uphill battle as Italy sought to colonize the country. Despite Ethiopia's efforts to resist the invasion, the Italian forces, equipped with modern weapons and superior military strength, gradually gained control over Ethiopian territory. As the Italian forces advanced, Haile Selassie knew that he had to rally international support to counter the aggression. In May 1936, Italian forces captured the Ethiopian capital, Addis Ababa, and Haile Selassie was forced into exile. He sought refuge in the city of Bath, England, where he established a government in exile and continued his efforts to garner international support for Ethiopia's cause. During his exile, Haile Selassie tirelessly traveled around the world, meeting with world leaders, diplomats, and other influential figures, seeking assistance in liberating Ethiopia from Italian occupation. In June 1936, he traveled to Geneva, Switzerland, to address the League of Nations, a precursor to the United Nations, urging member nations to take action against Italy's aggression and violation of international law. His passionate plea for justice and the preservation of Ethiopia's independence resonated with many, but unfortunately, the international response was insufficient, and Italy's occupation continued. The exile years were challenging for Haile Selassie, as he faced not only the physical separation from his homeland but also the daunting task of maintaining hope, and rallying support amid international indifference. Despite the difficulties, he remained steadfast in his determination to restore Ethiopia's sovereignty and mobilized Ethiopian resistance fighters, known as the Patriots, who engaged in guerrilla warfare against the Italian forces. His perseverance and diplomatic efforts finally paid off during World War II when Italy's fortunes turned. In 1941, with the assistance of Allied forces, Ethiopian patriots, and British troops, Ethiopia was liberated from Italian occupation. On May 5, 1941, Haile Selassie triumphantly returned to Addis Ababa, marking the end of his exile and the restoration of his rule. The return of Haile Selassie to Ethiopia was greeted with immense joy and celebration by the Ethiopian people. He immediately set about implementing various post-war reforms and rebuilding the nation's infrastructure, education system, and economy. Haile Selassie played a vital role in advancing the ideals of Pan-Africanism, the movement for the political and economic unity of African nations. 
he fostered close relationships with other African leaders, and supported the formation of the Organization of African Unity in 1963, which later became the African Union. Selassie believed that a united Africa could better address the challenges facing the continent, and promote its interests on the global stage. As a respected statesman, Selassie participated in numerous international conferences and represented Africa's interests worldwide. His diplomatic efforts led to increased recognition for Ethiopia and African countries, and he was instrumental in securing aid and development assistance for his nation. Haile Selassie holds a significant place in Rastafarianism. Rastafarians believe that Selassie was the Messiah, fulfilling a biblical prophecy and embodying the divine figure mentioned in their sacred texts. This belief originated from a specific interpretation of the Bible and Marcus Garvey's teachings on a black king liberating Africans. His visit to Jamaica in 1966 further solidified the connection, validating Rastafarian faith and inspiring empowerment. He symbolizes African pride, resistance against oppression, and hope for a better future within Rastafarian culture. His impact on Rastafarianism remains significant, as he is revered as a spiritual figure whose teachings and actions continue to inspire the movement's focus on social justice, African repatriation, and the celebration of African culture. While Haile Selassie is often celebrated for his efforts in modernizing Ethiopia and resisting colonization, his reign was not without its critics, and there are negative aspects associated with his leadership. He held absolute power and suppressed political dissent, leading to limited political freedoms and the stifling of opposition. His government lacked transparency and accountability, with decisions being made without sufficient public participation or checks and balances. Despite implementing some reforms aimed at improving the living conditions of the Ethiopian people, significant socio-economic disparities persisted during his reign. Large segments of the population, particularly rural communities, continued to face poverty, landlessness, and limited access to basic services such as education and healthcare. These failures in his leadership eroded popular support and eventually led to widespread discontent. In 1974, a military coup toppled Haile Selassie and his government, and he was held under house arrest until his death in 1975, under unclear circumstances. His life as emperor and ruler of Ethiopia embodies the struggles, triumphs, and aspirations of Ethiopia and Africa as a whole. As emperor, Haile Selassie led his country through a period of modernization, resisted colonialism, and championed African unity. While his reign ended in controversy, his indomitable spirit and vision for a united and prosperous Africa continue to inspire generations. His legacy as a visionary leader and advocate for justice and equality remain an enduring testament to his place in history. Thanks for joining us. Remember to subscribe for more fascinating biographies.